I'm Christine. I'm the Education Coordinator here at the Journey Museum and Learning Center. Today I'm just going to show you the bison box that we take out on a regular basis here at the museum and tell you just a few of the things that we have in here. So the bison were historically used by the Native Americans in this area, the Lakotas, um, for everything that you can think of. So every single part of the bison was used. But I'm just going to show you a few of those things. So first of all, our bison box itself is also called a par flesh box. This is made out of the hide from the bison, and it's actually raw hide. It's very tough, very hard, and very durable. Here's some raw hide right here. Raw hide would be used for other things besides a box. It could be used for the soles of a moccasin. It could be used for a shield. Now with raw hide, as the name suggests, nothing has been done to it. But we've also, many of us have heard of tanned hide. Tanned hide is very soft and very pliable. And it'd be perfect for use for clothing, for teepees. Now tanned hide was actually uh, tanned in a very interesting way. You see, the brain from the bison would be used to tan this hide. And what's very interesting is that the brain was the perfect size to tan its entire hide of the animal. This particular hide, you also see this kind of yellowish color to it. It was over a fire and that smoke from the fire would make it very yellow and that would mean that it's uh, weatherproof, so perfect to, to be rainproof. Now I also have some tanned hide right here. This tanned hide has the fur on it still. This would be useful for warmer clothing, or maybe for a moccasin to have some warm fur. Now to get rid of the fur on the hide, so again this has fur, this raw hide here has fur, but these two don't have fur. So a bone could be used as a scraping tool to scrape off the fur off of that hide. So this is the shoulder blade from the bison and my fingers kind of fit perfectly around here to be able to scrape off that fur. Bones would have other purposes as well. Some bones would be good use for a cleaver, but I have some teeth right here. And the teeth from the bison would be great for decoration for a necklace. Now just a few more items that I have here. Here are the horns from the bison. Now this horn is very rough feeling, but yet at the very tip it's kind of polished off here. In the wild, when the bison was still alive as he's digging around, as he's digging around that dirt would start to polish off this end a little bit here. Now here at the museum we do have a spoon that's made out of the horn of a bison and this could very easily have been made into a spoon as well because um, a horn is made out of keratin, the same thing like your fingernails are made out of. So again I have lots of items here but I'm just going to show you one last one and that is from the inside the bison. This is the bladder. The bladder would be good to be used as a water pouch to drink from. Now just like with our water bottles that we have, sometimes they can get torn. Well, here's an example of when it's torn. Now we might want to just throw our water, water bottles away, but instead the Lakotas would take a torn uh, bladder and repurpose it into an envelope like this. Now many times there would be quill work along here, but this particular one doesn't have quill work. But this envelope would be good for holding some quills as in making quill work. So you can go from a drinking pouch to an envelope. So there we have our bison box, just a few of the items, just to give you a little sampling of how every part of the bison was used um, if you're interested in learning more, you should try researching it and learning about how every part of the bison is used. 
you'll be quite surprised.